Greetings Earthlings, I'm back with another budget microphone review for you guys. So today I'm reviewing this guy, the Frisbee standalone microphone for PC, computer, laptop, notebook, VoIP with noise canceling. If you are interested in this mic, it'll set you back around 10 bucks on Amazon as per usual, link in the description. And for this video, I have the mic connected directly to my Mac using a SIBA USB sound card, which I'll also link in the description. My input gain is set at around 3%. I will do no post processing to the audio, but I may boost it in post, so check the doobly-doo for more information. Now let's go ahead and talk about what comes in the box. Yeah. That was a scary one. <laughs> Obviously you're going to get the microphone. You get a desktop stand and you get a user guide. As far as the build quality, this thing feels as good as a $10 microphone should. It has an all plastic body. The grill does feel metal, but the entire thing just feels insanely light. And when you shake it, the internal components do seem to be loose. On the side, you do have an on off switch, which will allow you to mute the microphone. The cable is permanently attached and it feels like a terrible material that I would be concerned with failure. And the cable terminates into a stereo 3.5 millimeter jack. As far as specs, I have no idea what kind of polar pattern this has. It has a frequency response of 100 hertz to 16 kilohertz, a sensitivity of negative 35 decibels, an impedance of 2.2 kilo ohms, and a required voltage of 4.5 volts. Now I'm spinning around the microphone to determine what the actual polar pattern is and how the audio changes as we move around the microphone's capsule. Now I'm banging on a keyboard with Cherry MX Blues directly behind the microphone to see how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard it picks up. One foot away from the microphone, about two feet away from the mic, and about four feet away from the microphone. Right now I'm speaking into the microphone, running into a C by USB sound card. Now I have the mic connected directly to the motherboard of a Windows 10 PC with the input gain set at 100%, the audio boost at plus 10 decibels, and this is how the microphone sounds in this scenario. Now I have the microphone connected directly to the mic input on my Canon T6i with the input gain set at 25% and this is how the mic sounds in this scenario. Now I have the microphone connected directly to my Zoom H1 with the input gain set at 35% and this is how the audio sounds using a pretty decent preamp. <laughs> I never had to buy another shitty microphone again I don't think I'd mind I think I would be fine so for 10 bucks, I actually think this thing sounds pretty nice when you're using a decent USB sound card or a decent portable recorder. In terms of pros, this thing is just dirt cheap and it does sound pretty decent or usable in a couple of different setups. Then in terms of cons, the build quality is just garbage and I'm not talking about the materials because that's forgivable given the low price tag, but I'm talking about the internal components being loose, which is unforgivable regardless of the price tag. It also has an omnidirectional polar pattern, which means it'll pick up a lot of computer and room noise. There is just an insane amount of high cut filter, which removes any presence from the microphone. And lastly, it has a permanently attached cable, which I hate on every single microphone. So when it comes down to it, if you have an absolute budget of 15 or 20 bucks that you just can't exceed, then I think this microphone mixed with the SIBA USB sound card would be perfectly sufficient for chatting online or just demoing music at home. But if you're looking for a budget microphone for YouTube, podcasting, or some kind of professional project, I don't recommend this thing at all, and I think you better keep looking. All right, guys, I guess that'll do it for today. If you found this video fun, interesting, or helpful, thumbs up. If you thought it sucked, thumbs down. If you want to influence the gear that I review next, head over to geeksrising.com slash podcastage and cast your votes there. Also, if you want more videos just like this, subscribe by clicking the logo beneath me. Follow me on all the social media stuff linked at the bottom of the screen, and I will see you all on Friday. Thanks for watching. Bye.